Hey, it's time to do that Q&A that I promised. But first, some production notes for geeks who love ancient technology like I do, especially old analog recording equipment. Because today I'm recording on a new camera. It's a Panasonic palm quarter, and it's something like this one. Because I got two of these. They're not exactly the same, but they're the same in principle. These record to VHS Compact, although I'm recording out to a regular VHS VCR. These are cool. I like the picture that I'm getting out of this thing. Looks all right to me. Tell me what you think. Uh, it's low res, of course. This one came with some extra goodies. The other one had a VHS compact tape already in it of somebody's mom walking around the kitchen and drinking some beverage. Anyway, this, uh, this other camcorder came with a VHS compact tape in it. And written on the tape, it says, Angelo's Birth. Angelo's Birth. I haven't watched this yet. Should I watch it? Should I upload it to YouTube? Should I poop it? I'm sure there's a market for other people's birth videos. Now it's on to the questions. My wife is asking if I want her to stop at the grocery store on the way home. The answer is yeah. So yes, do stop at the grocery store on the way home. Someone whose name cannot be pronounced because it's a an ASCII pictogram of a face. So I'll just call him Face. Face asks, Hey boss, can I have pussy please? Hey boss, can I have a pussy please? <sighs> yeah, all of the pussy you want. I mean, as long as it all involves consenting adults. On to the next question. Humph King asks, Can you please do a family feud poop with Steve Harvey? He looks like a milk dud come to life. Yes, I will do that, Steve Harvey YouTube poop. Oh, my wife says uh, she's, she's not going to the grocery store after all. Here's a question from Dathings1, who is one of my favorite persons. Dathings1 asks, What's something you wish more people would do when making videos? Well, briefly put, don't waste my time so much. Cut out all the parts that go um and uh and all the dead air. I don't really need to see you stumbling around your apartment opening boxes and going, um, um, let me go get this thing. Also, we don't really need all that branding up front that a lot of vloggers have. Some of them have half a minute to a minute, uh, sometimes longer, of introductory material. We don't need that. And in the unlikely event that I want to know what you call yourself, I'll just look down at your username. Another one is, get a damn tripod. I can't tell you how many unboxing videos I've seen that go something like this. Okay, uh, YouTube, I've got this, uh, here. Um, what else do I wish that YouTubers would do? Get a microphone, a separate microphone. Don't use the camera microphone. Even a $10 microphone is better than uh, having one five feet away from you on the camera, especially in, an, uh, in a live echoey room. Burning Fajita Salt says, When did you first become open to the idea of pooping? Mixing and mashing the banal to make something funny. Was it first something that popped up with the rise of YouTube poop? Or has it been in the back of your head for a while? I'd say it's been in the back of my head all my life. I think that human beings just sort of naturally chop up all these audiovisual presentations in their own heads and rearrange them in a way that suits them. When I saw that people were doing this on YouTube and that there was a way to do it with the sort of desktop computing power that I had, it was just an instant reaction. I had to start doing this. So the answer is six of one, half dozen the other. I think that I would always want to resist mass culture and advertising and commercial culture by taking their productions and chopping them up and making something else out of them, even if it's like these old sort of schoolyard parodies we used to sing when we were in elementary school. You know, McDonald's is your kind of place, hamburgers in your face. These things had real traction with us when we were kids, and they still do, in my mind, at the age of 50. It's taking commercial mass culture products and rearranging them to suit our own needs. 
and in ways that uh, liberate the contents of the unconscious mind and in ways that offer resistance to colonization by commercial interests. Dr. Zombo asks, I'm still not entirely convinced this is really you. Could you confirm it on tape? Dr. Zombo, it's really me. I'm recording the tape. I don't know another way to confirm it. Poops for the World asks, where do you find time to do all of these videos? The short answer is, I don't have kids. Another answer is that I try not to let the videos take much time to make. Another answer is, I have attention deficit disorder. A fine fecal mist asks, does Corvettes have more of what you're looking for? Corvettes does have more of what you're looking for. We've got more than just a couple of fucking stereos. We've got fish pie in your pants. We've got sog paneer. We've got the rapist, too. R raping you. Oh, Dios. Plus a whole host of tape recorders. I don't even know what a tape recorder is. Nathan Jacobson says, I'm having a hard time believing it's you, senpai. Next time, you should be like, hey, it's Noise Puppet here or something. I don't know. Lol. Hi, YouTube. It's the Noise Puppet channel. Last time, we talked about some other shit. This time, I'm talking about some more shit. Patsui asks, Which is your favorite poop of your own? This is a four-parter. Patsui asked a lot of questions. Which is your favorite poop of your own? Well, it's the one I just quoted. It's called Parade of Failed Old Shit. It just hits all my favorite things to do. It's got Shitburger the Werewolf. The fact that it's a bunch of uh, failed old businesses means that no corporation is going to slap a copyright claim on it just to keep you from talking about them. Which is your favorite poop by someone else? There is no way I can say. I mean, there's just... there. Are... That's like asking, what's your favorite song? Who is your favorite pooper? That's another one I can't answer. I will say that a guy that doesn't get enough views, who is just really out the box, is Metzgore. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. M-E-T-Z-G-O-R-R-E. -R -R -E. Also, along with the usual suspects that you guys all know, and I'm not going to get into a shout-out list because I'll miss somebody, and then I'll be sad. Another guy who's not a pooper, who doesn't get enough views, in my opinion, is Real Groovy Films. And Real is spelled R-E-E-L. There's a guy named John up in New England, and he does videos on old equipment, kind of like I'm doing. Old analog stuff, uh, old VHS tapes. And lastly, Patui asks, what is your job? Well, my job is I'm a librarian. Before that, I was a sound man, and before that, I was a psychotherapist. No kidding, I was a psychotherapist. Dudesons441, who is a hell of an accordion player, go watch his videos. Dudesons441 asks, Would you be willing to follow me around with your big boom mic and clunky tapes if I hop trains? Well, trains are one of my favorite subjects. Yes, I would follow you around if you hop trains. Paragon asks, what is the meaning of life? Double dragon mung beans. Peach to the infinity says, can you play something on the guitar? And the answer is yes. Ginfidel asks, Q. Ginfidel, I'd have to say, A. Enthusiastics Rock asks, Does your spouse know about your pubes? And what are his, her reactions? Yes, my wife knows about YouTube poops. I think she thinks it's kind of cool, but she doesn't watch them because there's something about the noises we make in them that gives her a migraine headache. They actually give her a migraine headache. It's something like the way that a, a strobe light can trigger an epileptic seizure. But we make plenty of dick jokes just out in the air. Hoobyflube asks, Do you actively make films besides YTPs? The answer is I really want to. I'm really kind of trying. That's one of the reasons I'm getting all this old legacy camcorder equipment and junk together is uh, that I'd like to shoot some movies, especially low-fi, low-res, standard definition, old format movies. The thing that's holding me up right now is a lack of promising material to shoot. 
promising material in the form of screenplays isn't as easy to find as you might imagine. So I'm having to write it myself. The hardest thing of all is just sitting down, looking at a blank screen, and writing. One of my problems is that uh, I'll write something, and after listening to my narrative voice for a couple of hours, I start to hate it. I just start to hate everything I write, and I start to wish it would go away. So the experience of writing can tend to be kind of punishing for me. I'm going to have to figure out a way around it, or or if any of you are screenwriters and you've got material lying around or you want to write material and it's not so hard for you to do, go ahead and write it. Send some to me and uh, we'll talk about shooting a movie with it. Magnified111 asks, when you're not making YTPs, collecting old tech or working, what other hobbies do you have? Woodworking, sharpening woodworking tools, knives and cutlery, music, audio, guitars, Science, the paranormal, the outdoors, so uh, bicycles, canoes, backpacks, tents, all that kind of junk. He also asks, what are some of your favorite authors and books? Well, I'd say anything by William Gibson. What are some of your favorite and most meaningful quotes? Denny Crum, Louisville basketball coach, once said, most of our future lies ahead. Another favorite quote is from Thomas Edison. He once said, I have not failed I've discovered a thousand things that do not work. Top 10 favorite movies. I couldn't. I couldn't. Uh, let's see. I just started watching some movies from Chile uh, starring this martial artist named Marco Zoror, and I forget the name of his director, uh, but they've made several movies together. Uh, this one I just watched was called Mirage Man. That's one of their first along with Kiltro, uh, so I'd say go watch that. But that's just like the most recent thing that I've gotten into. And lastly, Magnified111 asks, uh, do you think manatees are overrated? And I would say I think their market value matches their use value very, very closely. Symbol of Death says, it's probably been asked, but how exactly did you find and what made you appreciate YouTube poop at your age? At my age? I don't know. I think I'm just really juvenile. Bonquisha asks, Is that you? That is me. DG Television Network asks, Do you have swag? Man, I got, I got so much swag. I got, I got more, I got, I got swag that's got swag. Watches 1000 asks, It okay, it okay, I such like beast fiends with my best motor flunger. He let me poop on his channel. I don't think that's a question. Okay, Magnified111 has some more questions here. Uh, what's your day job? Oh, yeah, yep, I already answered that. He said I could be a librarian or maybe a gigolo. Well, as it happens, I am a librarian. Well, as it happens, I am a gigolo. Well, as it happens, I am Shitburger the Werewolf. He says, you obviously play guitar, so who are some of your favorite players? Jimmy Bryant, Chet Atkins, Jerry Reed, Pat Donahue, Doc Watson, Merle Travis. Danny Gatton, Johnny Highland, Mark Christian of the band Merle Jagger. Magnified111 also asks, would you consider showing us some of your playing skills? Spider-Man2009 asks, what kind of music do you listen to? Well, uh... And how did I find YTP? I don't even know. It feels like something that should have always been there, so it's hard to remember it not being there or how I found it. The Ruffy says, would you be willing to take a request to poop something? Uh, I, I do, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, I, I do, yeah, yeah, uh. A guy named Szzzzfugz says, saw that you had a guitar there in the video, do you still know how to play it? Well, sir, your question is fallaciously complex, assuming, as it does, that I once knew how to play it.
And lastly, some Metri guy says, when can we expect your next full length zombie feature? I think he's referencing something, because uh, I know this guy. He's referencing something I was involved with here in San Antonio, which was supposed to be a film project, which was supposed to be a zombie movie. Well, it was supposed to be a TV show, then it was supposed to be a movie, then it was... Uh, nobody knew what it was going to be. But the writer, director, leading man guy uh, who was supposed to make this thing turned out to be a big faker, and he had uh, a couple of hundred people that he was stringing along and telling he was going to make this movie, and he wasn't ever going to make anything, really. And it got me thinking, well, with all the energy that's coming to this project that's never going to happen, you could make movies. And even if they're shit, you'd have something on tape, and it would be better than this because at least it would exist. So that's what got me interested in going ahead and, and making movies. It's turning out to be harder than it looks, and of course I knew that would be the case. Thanks for all your questions, and now... favorite amplifier, the Epiphone Valve Junior. All stock, many features, such as an on-off switch, and a volume knob, and an input plug. Well, that's all the features. <laughs>